everybody. We love exploring these old ghost towns and this one has some pretty historical accomplishments and a murder mystery that once sent chills through this tiny town. the historic mining town of South Pass in Wyoming, so we're going to go out and do some exploring here. South Pass City is a historic gold mining town. It's one of Wyoming's largest historic sites. Located about 10 miles north of the Oregon Trail, it straddles the Continental Divide in the Rocky Mountains right through the middle of Wyoming. In 1867, there was a gold mining boom in the Sweetwater Mining District and the town of South Pass was born. The Carissa Mine struck a rich vein. Western prospectors rushed in by the hundreds, hoping to strike it rich. Within a year, the population had grown to about 2,000 and the main street in town, South Pass Avenue, grew to about a half a mile long. The saloons, brothels, and the wildlife of the gold mining town were in full swing. Some pretty important accomplishments happened in South Pass City. William Bright was one of the town's representatives in the legislature in 1869. He introduced a women's suffrage bill that was passed and signed by the governor, making Wyoming the first state in the country where women could vote and hold political office. Just two months later, Esther Hobart Morris was appointed the town's Justice of the Peace, becoming the nation's first female judge. Machine shop and blacksmith? I would say, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It's a neat old wagon wheel. I'd like to have that wagon wheel there. Well, this is very cool. This is built right into the side of the hill. Let me take you around on this side. Look at this. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's go inside. Looks like there's a crawl space up there, open space in there. That's a serious door. That's solid metal. Very interesting. The cave. Oh man. Creepy. It looks like there's all the blasting materials in here. Up ahead, we see that looks like a old wagon and maybe an add it to a mine. So we're going to go up here and take a look. Oh, this is neat. And up here, I see some rails. Let's take this trail and see. I think it goes up here by the mine. Oh yeah, cool. Oh wow. Oh, look at this. There's rails. Oh wow. This is the Wolverine mine at it. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't like being in here, but I want to show it to you. It's pretty dark. Creepy, creepy. 
This is the school building. As the story goes, a drifter came into town one day and asked for the teaching job. <laughs> if the kids in his class did anything wrong, he would lock the door and start lashing everyone in class. South Pass also had its share of mysteries. One of them involved Polly Bartlett. It was alleged she killed as many as 22 men. That was enough to make the townspeople of South Pass just a little more cautious. Polly saw the boom as an opportunity, seeing the transient miners as vulnerable and easy to exploit. Bartlett started an inn in South Pass. The men would check in, never to be heard from again. Polly used arsenic to season the food and drink of the wayward miners. But when the son of a wealthy man from the area disappeared, Polly's ruse came to an end. She was arrested and held in the Atlantic City Jail. She ended up being shot through the jailhouse window by the former boss of her final victim. Historians have not been able to confirm whether or not the story of Polly Bartlett is true. One thing is for sure, thanks to Polly, the ghost town of South Pass could be a little more ghostly than you think. Even though the miners suffered through back-breaking work and severe weather, in the end, the prospectors walked away empty-handed. So by the mid-1870s, only a hundred people were left in South Pass. Their homes, the stores, hotels, and saloons fell into disrepair. The last of the pioneer families moved away sometime around 1949. In 1966, the ghost town site was purchased by the state of Wyoming as a 75th birthday present for the citizens of the state. And since then, it's been restored to its former glory. South Pass City was a really neat little place to stop. They've done a very good job of preserving the buildings there. I think it was, what was it, $5 for each person for $5 us? $5 for each. Out of state, and I think $4 if you $3 live, if you live in Wyoming. $3 if you live in Wyoming. So it was a nice little stop, and now we're back on the road. Very similar to Bodie and Bannock. Well oh, worth it. A lot yeah, of photo that, ops. Uh -huh, that is true. A lot of photo ops. So back on the road, guys. And this one has a couple of really historical... Hysterical. Hysterical. <laughs> talk. <laughs> I knew it was. Hi everybody, we love exploring these old ghost towns. We love exploring these old... <laughs> Once sent chills down this... 